Hey everybody, somebody asked me a question about uh, stucco and the foundation offset. I had a picture of, on a video and it, somebody asked me about that question. I'll bring that, um, I'll, I'm going to show you guys something here. Um, this is a typical house that I see today is where, you know, uh, you know they build uh, structures all kinds of ways. But uh, they usually they form the foundation, which this is the foundation area right here, and then um, the stud is actually meets that look that area there. It's aligned, and then the cade lath is put on, and stucco is put on, and it creates this offset. Actually, a weep screen goes inside here also to let out moisture, and so you'll have this um, this stucco that's uh, offset from the from the actual foundation of the house. So how to create that on, on, on Revit is really simple. It's a really a beginner task, but some people don't know it. So I wanted to show it to you real quick here, and then I got to jump in the shower. Here's two walls that I made that have uh, basically uh, nothing behind it. Just uh, basically what this is, is just a five inch generic wall. Uh, no foundation, no nothing. I'll put that together. Um, Let's go ahead and I'll, I'll want to show you an example. I'll section this wall here and I'll look at it in this direction here and I don't see any kind of a build or anything like that as far as layers are concerned. Um, let me see, I'll turn, make sure that fine is turned on and there's still nothing there. So let's go ahead and, and, and let's build this wall to accept that type of a look. Um, what we do is now I also remind you out of the box uh, there's plenty of uh, wall types that already have this achieved and you can you can choose those if you'd like I always like to build my own at I, I don't know why but I like to start off fresh with my own wall and name it to an exterior wall and this is how you also control your rendering materials too is by building a wall with with you know different types of materials on it so let's go ahead and edit this wall and in this wall edit I already have my preview opened and that's by just hitting it hitting this button down here it says preview and I go ahead and edit here and basically what we have is we have two core boundaries and then the structure in the middle and uh, we can't change the core boundary because it's set at zero it's basically all it is a core boundary it's uh, and and so I'm gonna insert in this core in this in this structure which is now five inches, it's going to have to change because I want my, my wall to maintain five inches. So uh, I will insert two more layers by pressing this button here. Insert and insert. Now I'll adjust and what, it, what position it took is it took position two and three. And I'm just going to get position two and move it up one area and then I'm going to go ahead and get my other one. And you can always tell because it's it's it has a zero for thickness, and it's actually three. And I'm going to move it down two spaces. I'm going to move it down, down, so I can get my core boundary to be just on the inside of this structure, and my other core boundary just on the inside of the structure. Now, these outside layers are really not structure. You can leave them alone if you'd like, but if you want to keep track of your materials and stuff. You can go ahead and just say finish one and, and finish two if you'd like uh, or just leave them alone whatever you want to do and I, I have to apply before I can close this wall out and save it I'm going to have to apply thicknesses to these exterior finish and I, you know that it's an exterior finish because it says exterior right here and this side is the interior side so because it says interior on this side so we're set up and I'm just going to apply for my exterior, I'm going to apply um, one inch of stucco, and uh, and I'm going to go over here and apply half inch drywall. So I'll just put 0.5, and uh, now so it automatically went to a half inch. And here I got my one inch, and it's changed the overall thickness to six and a half, which is not correct. I mean, unless I want it to be a six and a half inch wall, that's fine right now but I want to bring it back to a five inch wall. So I'm going to put my, which this would be a, a two by four stud anyways. I'll go ahead and change that value 
to 3.5 inches and now my overall thickness is 5 inches so I'm pretty much done building this wall later I can apply materials if I want to render it or make it look you know something different in the model okay so I'm finished I'll set up I'll select OK OK and uh, at this point I'm going to select fine and you can see the thickness is already there the only thing is, is I have this the wrong way I drew it going this way instead of that way and it's very simple fix I'll just go ahead and click on my wall and snap these on the outside that'll actually just swap the it'll spin the wall around and then uh, so I'll go ahead and look at the section view just to show you again there's the thicknesses very clear we have the one inch on this side we have the two by four and we have the half inch drywall. I'll go uh, in this area real close and when I select now uh, when you do a whole home this is very beneficial this is uh, because you're going to be selecting all around the whole house I'm just going to make an example here of just two walls so when when I select the floor what I'm going to pick at is I'm going to pick right here and select that core boundary because that's what it's for It'll, see, uh, it, this, is, this outside here is not a core boundary. This is a core boundary. Remember how we built it? Just on the other side of the core boundary, and that's where it's going to snap to. I can actually snap it to this side, too, if I want to. I'll show you. I'll, right here, I'll go ahead and put in it. Well, let's see here. I actually I actually snapped it too quick. Let okay, me go ahead and just uh, delete this one. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now I'll go ahead and uh, uh, pick a wall here. A pick wall. There. Okay, so let's see. It snapped right there to the interior of that uh, core boundary. So it's looking for a core boundary to snap this line to. But that's not where I where, where I want where I want it. I want it actually right here and right here. And if this was a whole house, I would go ahead and you know continue my way around. But in the meanwhile, since this is just a little tr training video, I'm just going to go ahead and close up uh, close up this line, this loop here, there, and finish it off. And then I'll go ahead and I'm going to change this just for just for aesthetics. I'm going to change this to six inches. So stand by. I'll make it four inches. No, better yet, six inches. Okay. Say okay. And I'll go ahead and spin this thing around so you can see that it is maintain that one inch uh, look, a little one inch offset all the way around the house. If, you, if this was a complete house, you would have that one inch offset. And, um, and that's what gives. Uh, you the uh, 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 the the real look of of a house. I see a lot of people that don't do this, and their renderings look sometimes a little a little fake. Um, but little little details like this actually helps out a uh, a rendering really good. Uh, and you can do this with a lot of other type of elements, sidewalks, and uh, yeah, if you build them out of uh, curbs, if you build them out of uh, uh, walls and stuff like that. So that's my video that I wanted to show somebody that asked me this question. You know, how do you offset that from the foundation? And that's how you do it. So see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.